you know how much I love Apple, but they have just taken my MacBook Pro because they noticed the screen was damaged or the reflectance coating had gone, and they're going to replace it for free. naked without my laptop now. I was gonna get some work done on it in there, but I think I'll head home. I'll edit yesterday's vlog for you on the Mac, on the iMac and then I'll figure something else to do. If you were thinking of coming to Cambridge, sort of early September's a good time. University isn't back yet. Uh, everyone else is back to school, not many tourists around, it's actually quite quiet. See the thing is Cambridge is actually quite a small city and so once it gets too many people in the infrastructure just can't cope and it just goes mad. So anyway, head back to the car now, get back to the studio, get my practice done for today and figure out something else to put in today's vlog. I know you know I love Apple, but this is my thing. BMW, okay, three years ago they did that job on my car to fix it. I spent a lot of money on it. But not the same money I spent on that MacBook Pro. Their parts have failed, something's gone wrong. They won't fix it. They're just like, no, we've got a year warranty on it, and that's the end of it. And here's the thing, you see, to BMW, six, seven hundred pounds isn't a lot of money. To me it is. Okay, to Apple, that screen repair should cost about £600. To them, it's not a lot of money. They could do it to be good customer service, to keep me as a customer, to keep me spending money. BMW, I'm never going to buy one of your cars again. Now, I openly admit, I've not always been a fan of Audi drivers. But I've got to say, this is the first time I've driven an Audi car. It is an old one. But I do like it, it's got a nice driving position, it feels comfortable, this is an old, I'd say this is an old one, but it still handles well, drives well. This bit always makes me feel a bit queasy. It's just round, 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 round. about half an hour ago and I've got to make a really important business call to somebody in LA and then I've got a student on Skype not long after that but before I do that well, the reason I was in the Apple store today Katie got a set of Beats headphones free with her laptop for the MacBook that I showed you the other day and uh, well let's just say we're going to share the headphones and I wasn't too keen on wearing rose gold so let's have a look now obviously it's going to be nigh and impossible to review these for you because obviously you won't be able to hear unless I kind of put the headphones around the um, microphone which won't really work. So let's have a look. As usual, lovely Apple experience. Okay, this is looking, I've not even seen an unboxing of these before. Liking the case, liking the box. I bet they probably need some form of charging. Okay, so my first initial reactions is it's a really kind of wide sound stage on them. It really feels like everything's really separated a long way on the stereo channels. Okay, so part of the problem was I had the EQ on some late night setting. I usually have it jazz or flat. The jazz isn't great, but it kind of, it makes it a little bit better. Let's stick some hip hop on. One of my favourite tracks to ever do any kind of audio test is Billy Jean by Michael Jackson, simply because those drums, whilst very heavily overproduced, do kind of kick a lot of big spectrum, you know, big frequency spectrum. I 
Okay, so the bass is quite loud. There's quite a lot of bass emphasis, even on a flat EQ, uh, versus kind of, um, if I put my stage, uh, my Shaw, I can't remember what brand I've got, in-ear monitors with, the, with personalized molds, which are kind of some of the best headphones I've ever had. They're incredible. Um, that they give an absolutely perfectly flat response. These are not giving me a flat response, but that's got to say, 98% of the population are not that interested in a flat response. They want the sound to sound good. These certainly do sound incredible. And compared to the AirPods, whether the, the Apple AirPods or um, kind of uh, more expensive headphones, these are pretty good. I know, realize that's because they're kind of off ear, as it were, whatever the technical name is. The music stopped. But yeah, I'm liking them. I better make that call to LA. went flat so you lost that little bit I'm just preparing my set for tomorrow evening now I would love to stream it live on YouTube but you know if you're a regular subscriber what pain I've had trying to live stream from YouTube and kind of the mess ups and cock ups so I will live stream it from my Facebook page that's facebook.com forward slash Dan for sure hit over there and hit a like anyway if you're on Facebook if you're not on Facebook well, leave enough messages and I'll try and put it on YouTube, but it's such a pain. Um, but I don't think I'll be vlogging tomorrow, so I need to just get through and get this um, bits of Sony Rollins stuff, get a set list prepared, do some normal practice, and then I'm going to say good night. <laughs> Just one more thing. I recently got hold of this book called Stream Punks. It's a really, really good read. And um, from it today, I sorry, yesterday actually, I joined the Internet Creators Guild. It's a great idea. If you are creating content yourself, can I advise you to nip over there and have a look at their website? Uh, it's set up by two YouTubers. It's a brilliant idea for people to come together, collaborate, share ideas, try and get a creative space going and a safe place for creators to talk to each other. And I urge all of you to be creators. Everyone now has the ability to be a YouTuber, to get things out there. And I, if you're watching this, Please think about creating your own content. We've all got a unique view of the world. One of the things that is mentioned by Robert in this book when he's talking about Casey Neistat, and it's the one thing that I've been inspired from Casey's vlogs to put in my own vlogs, is that you really start to notice the beauty around you that you haven't seen necessarily seen before, especially with a drone and those kind of things. That's the they're some of the things I've loved the most. I'm going to make a vlog in the next few days about my love and hates of YouTube. Now I've been vlogging for coming up to 250 episodes and kind of what I've learned from that. But can I, if I can get out of the nearly 4,000 people who subscribe to this channel, if I can inspire just 10% of you to pick up a camera and make your own content. Some of you already will be doing, I know that. And power to you and share it in this in the box but I don't mind today you have my permission to share your content below um, let's you know, I want to inspire others I mean it's great kind of making music and kind of what goes on with that but I want to inspire people to share their point of view because that's the great thing that YouTube enables us all to do is enables me to share you to listen and hopefully you to share and you know pass ideas around anyway I think that's a suitable point to end today's vlog I will probably see you Saturday or Sunday. Let's say Sunday. I'll make sure I'm, I'm vlog on Sunday. But until then, thank you very much for watching. If you don't already subscribe, please hit that button. It makes such a difference to the videos I make, and I will see you very, very soon.